So if you pay attention to the world of astronomy, you probably have heard about 2011 ES4, a small 30 meter diameter asteroid that was supposed to fly by Earth on September 1st. This was announced and published in a large number of news around the world. And you may wonder, what does it matter? What do we care? Well, in fact, 2011 ES4 is small, true, but is the same size than the bolide that exploded above Chelyabinsk in Russia in 2013. So you probably saw those impressive videos and pictures of the explosion above Chelyabinsk and the impact that this explosion had on the population and the city. Thousands of windows blew up and people got hurt. So, shortly before the close approach, NASA had to basically stop this media frenzy. And they published a tweet where they explained that in fact, even though the asteroid will be passing close to us, is close to us on an astronomical scale, um, the asteroid will be passing 45,000 miles away from us. They even used this weird unit by telling us that this corresponds to 792,000 football fields. So let me translate this in a unit that the rest of the world could understand. That's typically 72,000 kilometers. So that's 724,000 soccer fields. Soccer is this game we play in the rest of the world with this roundish ball and 11 players on each side. So let's go back to 2011 ES4. So of course, when we heard about this asteroid here at the SETI Institute, we thought about our Unistellar network. This is a network of uh, citizen astronomers who can use the Enhanced Vision Telescope, a digital small telescope from their backyard to contribute to science. So the idea will be to ask them to observe 2011 ES4 from the house uh, collect direct observations, and we analyze this observation to get the position of the asteroid, its brightness, and send this information to the MPC so they can refine the orbit of the asteroid and give us more information about this asteroid. So we look at what we call the ephemeris. Those are tools uh, provided by professional astronomers around the world to be able to uh, predict the position of a planet or an asteroid in the sky. Various institutions in the world provide ephemeris. You probably have heard about the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which is one of them, the Minor Planet Center, called also MPC, and also the Bureau des Longitudes in France. So when we look at the ephemeris, we realize that in fact all of them, those three that I mentioned to you, were given slightly different position a few degrees apart. So we went back into the publications that we found on this, on this small asteroid, and we realized that in fact, it had been discovered in 2011 by the Mont Lemon Survey, um, a 1.5 meter telescope in Arizona, and then has been followed up on less than a day by other telescopes around the world. So they had only 30-ish observations taken in one day. And from the, those observations, we can try to fit an orbit. But of course, imagine that you have a clouds of, uh, of position, and on each of those positions, there is a small uncertainty. So when you fit an orbit to uh, uh, crossing those points, you can have multiple orbits, slightly different, but then this slight deviation become extremely important nine years later. So those reports that were claiming that 2011 ES4 will be flying Earth was probably incorrect based on this small research we did online. So we tried anyway. We contacted some of our citizen astronomers and gave them positions that we thought uh, the asteroid could be passing by. We even look around this position to see if it was slightly offset it, for instance. And unfortunately, on September 1st, 2000, 2020, we did not see anything. So, did we lose 2011 ES4? That's what we thought. Until September 6th, 
the Minor Planet Center, MPC, announced the recovery of this asteroid. In fact, he had been observed on the day before by the large telescope called PenStars-1, which is in Hawaii. These telescopes, whose, whose, which goal is to survey the entire sky, to search for those asteroids, had discovered an asteroid slightly off for the position we expected 2011 ES4 to be. They recalculated the orbit. Additional observer, observers around the world took additional data. And now, we're happy to say that we have recovered 2011 ES4. In fact, we can even go back on time now and we realize that he did not pass nearby Earth. He fly by Earth at a very comfortable distance of 1.48 million kilometers. So that's four times the distance between Earth and the Moon. And that's, if you want to go back to the unit used previously by NASA, that's 15 million soccer fields. So that's far, far away from us. So we had nothing to worry about. So the new orbit shows that, in fact, this asteroid will not impact Earth for the, in the next 100 years. It's not anymore a potentially hazardous asteroid. It's been removed from this list called Century, which is a list maintained by a computer at JPL, which calculates probability of impact for all asteroids we know so far. And we know a lot of them, 750,000 of them in the solar system, and more than 10,000 of them in the near-Earth population. So that's great. We have recovered 2011 ES4, and now we know that it will not impact Earth. And of course, as I mentioned, there is more of those asteroids fly by in Earth, so we are still looking for them, characterizing them. And I hope this video explained to you how difficult this could be for professional and amateur astronomers around the world. Thank you.